Giorgione's portrait of a man was almost certainly painted in 1506, or at least there's an inscription on the back that says it was produced in that year. Giorgione was described not long after his lifetime as the first modern master, the first person who could paint the softness of hair or the warmth of flesh, or even in this case, the five o'clock shadow on this man's chin. But he does it without describing each individual detail. Instead, he manages to convey all of this despite a much looser brushwork than any artist who had come before him. As such, he represents an apocal shift in the history of art. It really is the beginning of the high renaissance in Venice. It's the dawning of a new age in Italian painting. And as such, this is a very important work. Giorgione occupies a, a hugely important place in the history of art, yet he died young. In 1510, he was the victim of the plague in Venice, and there are only 30 or so paintings from him that survive to the present. Accordingly, we like to call this San Diego's Mona Lisa, which is a bit of a glib label, but beyond that, there's a, a kernel of truth. On the one hand, this portrait operates in the same way that the Mona Lisa does. The things that we like in that painting, the ambiguity of the sitter's expression, the indirectness of the gaze, things that keep the painting interesting whether or not we know who the sitter is, very much come are like the Mona Lisa. And on the other hand, they, they actually come from Leonardo's art. Leonardo went through Venice in 1501 just at the beginning of Giorgione's career. And it's clear that Giorgione saw what Leonardo was doing, understood what Leonardo's art was about, and used that as part of his means of making this great leap forward in art history. So it's a very rare, very important object, and a very re rewarding picture. It's one of those paintings that bears coming to and looking at again and again. It is not a picture that gives up its secrets in one impression. It's something that retains a kind of richness. And it's that ability of a portrait to transcend the appearance of whoever is painted in it and become an, an interesting picture in its own right that makes the picture so special.